Hi! This is the story about how I became a mechanic with no school. That's me! My name's Olivia. I'm currently 28 years old at the time of recording this. So you might be wondering, how do I even become a mechanic without any sort of certification? Well fret not, because I'm here to tell you how I did it. So let's take it back all the way to 2014. I'd bought my first motorcycle and just started to learn how to ride. And at the time, I didn't even know how to check my oil. I was told that the bike needed carburetor work, and if you had asked me, I wouldn't have even been able to point out where the carburetors were on the bike. Fast forward one year to 2015, I sold that Ninja, and I bought my second bike, a 2001 Suzuki Bandit 1200. This was the first time I had to do motorcycle repairs because the petcock on it was leaky. If you take a look at my videos, this is actually the first video I did demonstrating a mechanical repair. Although happy that I did the repair myself, it was more nerve-wracking at the time, and I still didn't have any thoughts of actually becoming a mechanic. Let's jump to the next year, 2016. I bought a Sportster that needed more work than I realized. It needed so much work that it wasn't going to run right without doing the repairs. But at the time, I could not afford to have a shop do any of the work. So I started to learn to work on it myself. That Sportster is what sparked me into wanting to be a mechanic. The more that I fixed the bike, the more I realized I could do this myself. I not only managed to fix that Sportster, that was the year that I put the most miles down on the road. I was riding every single day. I took that bike all up and down the west coast. I was in love with riding. I was in love with fixing bikes. And I knew that this is what I wanted to do. Going into 2017, that's when I started to bug the local mechanics and see if anybody needed a hand around their shop. Sadly, nobody wanted to take me on. But what they did tell me was to keep trying. They said, don't go to school. You're going to be in a lot of debt. Just keep trying until somebody will take you in as an apprentice. And that's where I found Vintage Monkey. Specializing in classic motorcycles, the Vintage Monkey took me in as an apprentice. So from 2017 to 2018, I got to learn under a master mechanic, almost one-on-one, -on -one, not only how to work on cool old motorcycles, but I also got to learn the ins and outs of a small motorcycle shop. I got to do everything from service riding to parts ordering and wrenching. I learned so much in that year that I worked there I could not have asked for a better introduction into motorcycle shops. That all came to a screeching halt in 2018 when the shop downsized. I knew I had the experience to work in another shop, I just had to go find it. So in the interim, between 2018 and 2019, I got a job at the local Cycle Gear. I got to put all of the parts knowledge that I had to test, and my ability to mount tires got put to good use. Let's be honest. How many people do you know can mount a dirt bike tire with a double rim lock? It is not the easiest job. At the beginning of the year, I was still working at Cycle Gear, but I applied at ANS Motorcycles in Roseville. That's where I got my first real job in the tech department of a dealership. I was a quality control and test rider, meaning I staged bikes and prepared them for sale, for service, or for pickup. Once they saw my ability and my experience, they slowly started to transmission me into working on motorcycles. I started to get more than just tire jobs, I started to be able to do oil changes and things like that. And that's where my journey sort of ended. Just a few months after starting at ANS is when I broke my knee. And that's kind of where everything has been put to a halt. If you want to take anything from this, if you want to become a mechanic without going to school, I basically did it in two years, from 2017 to 2019. I busted my ass so hard and didn't give up for a single day because I knew this is what I was passionate about and this is what I wanted to do more than anything. No matter how many people turned me down, no matter how many people told me, get a new bike, stop working on motorcycles, in two years, I got to be the first woman to work in ANS's tech department with absolutely no technical certification. Even though I'm still currently healing from the knee injury, I know as soon as I get walking again, I'm going to go straight back to working on motorcycles. Don't give up no matter what anybody tells you. I hope this lights your fire to get on the ball and get rolling. <laughs>
every kind of bike, every kind of, kind of two-wheeled machine, mopeds, scooters, uh, fucking, you know, dirt bikes, like, I want to learn everything. I want to learn how to work on everything because I want to be able to help other people fix their stuff. I just find it absolutely fascinating. I find it so interesting.